McCoy had his best game as of all last week. Play fake to Jamari Small and down the middle and complete. Think he's going to have a first down with a forward progress. Well, he got USC. And Tennessee immediately in Alabama territory at the 45. Off the RPO. Hendon Hooker. This is what he does so well. He got free. Almost 20 yards for Hendon Hooker before he's... Had 10 first downs only in the whole game. Them and the route is perfect. Jalen Wright. Got about five more. From the safety, but too much space. Only the fourth catch for Warren, but it's a big one, and now it's small. Head Volunteers need to get to the 15-yard line. They're just outside the 20. Hooker over the middle, completes it to his tight end, and it's a first down to Jacob. Six-man rush this time, a little angle route right there. Come to the outside, break in. Is the way that Tennessee spreads out. There's more space for Hendon Hooker not to make a mistake. They do not throw the ball a lot over the middle of the field, and that's usually when those mistakes happen. There's a quick slant, and that's complete. It's a first down, Ramel Keaton. Because Cedric Tillman is not. But look how open he is. Great space. The gamma does not pass off correctly. Little bit of motion, and now the three on two turns into who's got that guy. Pump fakes one way, comes back the other. Jalen Hyatt. So Tennessee is known for their wide splits, but this time they don't use a wide split. Confuses Alabama. Now they're two yards away from the end zone. And it's the fullback, Fant. He's in. Touchdown. It's in Tennessee. Hooker looked left, now looks back to the right, and now looks at the turf. Will Anderson on the left side of the Alabama defensive line. And he's coming. Hooker got rid of it. Deep ball. Just over. The quick strike offense of Tennessee as they haven't had to take too long to get in the end zone on their touchdown drives. Second down at 10. Hooker going to run out of the pocket. Little high step to get around Toho to He's just going out, and then he goes long. Oh, the little bend to the outside, and there he goes. This guy's becoming a star, number 11, number five's help. Happen. The pressure on the play forces the ball a little high. Came from both sides, Turner and Anderson. The ball goes high, and it happens all the time, doesn't it? Yep. First. Well, backed up now to the six-yard line after a good punt by Burnham. Tennessee's offense has got their hands back on it and finally prevented any further damage by the Alabama offense. Hendon Hooker from the goal line. Throws, completes. About a nine-yard gain. And balls for 152 in this game a year ago. Not out there. Imagine when they get him back, huh? Yep. It'll be even more dangerous than they already are. Hooker. Down the middle. Got him on the fly. It's Hyatt again, and he's going to take it. Touchdown, Tennessee. 78 yards. Now the Blue is coaching at BC, offered him the opportunity to move back, his family back. This is his third stint on a staff at Pittsburgh, and it couldn't have been a better timing to come back and be around his mom and dad at this time in their lives. Hooker pulls it down and goes nowhere. <laughs> to ill health in the last week or so and have been on hospice care the last few days. Here comes a blitz and Hooker goes down. Got across the line of scrimmage so ever in Tennessee. And they go quickly and they sling it deep in single coverage. We'll see a lot of that today and this one won by MJ Devins. Brandon Hill the safety was going out to cover and left that area void for the run. Tight formation. And right stuff to the wide side of the field. Try to get him the ball quickly. They send Jalen Wright out in motion. Not going quickly here. Wanting to make sure they have the right play call. Slam. Here, that was a good third down stop. Hooker to Jalen Hyatt for six on first down. Now Jalen Wright. 
Doing all he can for a hard-earned yard. Devin Danielson. The out there, and if you break a tackle, this short throw can turn into something big, and then you can set up something else. Hooker is taken down. Brandon George. Tough to get everything back with third and 15. Now, if you get press coverage and you get single like you might have right here, you maybe take a shot. Pitt bringing pressure up the middle. Savassier, Dennis, and they sack it. Back at the... It looked like it was going to be single. Watch Brandon Hill. He's going to go over the top and help on the coverage. And Hendon Hooker doesn't have anywhere to go with the football. Tillman falls down. A little bit of tempo from Alabama after that 27-yard pickup. And the throw out to McClellan who lost his foot. Every play. Six rush. Young. Got to get rid of it. He got hammered as he let it go by Jeremy Banks. Gibbs, who's always one step away. Trayvon Flowers brought three drives. Alabama has rushed for a total of 14 yards, but they can't. Young completes it to Latu, the tight end, and he's got a first down. Um, catches it right behind the blitz. Here he is on the ground, and Jameer Gibbs down. I think it was Mitchell number 10, right up the, just came and got it right, just back it up. And one's the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, and one's in the conversation this year. Maybe both. A lot of football left. Chase McClellan. Yeah, that's a good game for Alabama all the way out of drive starter though get it out three four five yards get you going Young down the middle throws a strike again time. It's a six-man rush picked up nicely by Alabama You rush six you better get him because this guy's too good with the football if you don't get him with only five minutes. Down in Tennessee territory under the two minute mark. Remaining first half. Alabama trying to cut in to an 11 point Tennessee lead here before the break. Young completes it to Latu on the run. And Latu's got it. 50 ball and Burton makes it. 36 yard pickup. Now it's back to Jameer Gibbs. Gibbs puts his foot in the ground and goodbye. Jameer Gibbs. Jameer Gibbs. Watch this move. Edge, edge, edge. Break it up. Flowers comes up. Mm -mm. Alabama will go for two. When you've got this much space to the outside, you just take that easy throw. All with the blitz. No linebackers in the way. Young sidearms it out again to Prentice. Prentice got to the edge. A vast difference from a week ago when it was Jalen Milrow, a much different kind of quarterback. First down. From the 33, here comes the heat. Got away, but not from the second wave. And it's big Omari Thomas. Scrimmage before he let it go. JoJo Earl's just going out and running a smash route to the outside. He just stays there. Nobody covers him, so he turns up field. And how does Bryce Young find him? Moving up inside the pocket again, keeping his eyes downfield and finding JoJo Earl. Led by the Heisman Trophy winner, Tony Dorsett, who as we saw looks like he could still play. Huge haul. Israel Abanacanda. They cannot get him! Touchdown, Pittsburgh! And then as you get down the field, and Avaconda gets into the secondary, watch the wide receiver right here. Watch this block by Buckfield. He dropped the pass in the first possession, gets a key block there, and then the speed takes him to the end zone. Last week, it was dis